Hello friends, I am Sharyu Pujari and I am a verified educator on Unacademy. You can follow me on Unacademy learning app where you will find my other courses as well. So this lesson is on some one mark multiple choice questions related to sludge treatment that we have seen in my previous lesson. Please do rate, review and recommend my courses and lessons. Do share this video and subscribe us on YouTube channel. Thank you. Hello friends, welcome to an academy and this lesson on multiple choice questions related to sludge treatment uh, by Sharyu Pujari. So about me, I am a verified educator on an academy. I have done my MTech in environmental science and technology. I have done my BE in civil engineering. I have two years of experience in teaching and you can follow me on this link. So if you follow me, you will get notified every time I publish a new lesson or new course on this platform. So this is my profile on on an academy where you can find my other courses as well like my previous course was on characteristics of sewage uh, so please do rate review and recommend my courses and lessons do share this video and subscribe us on youtube channel so friends before going to this lesson please do refer my lessons on sludge treatment part 1 part 2 and part 3 also go through my lessons on solved examples related to sludge treatment uh, so they will be very useful for you uh, for this uh, MCQs part so you can easily answer them or understand the solutions what I am uh, giving here. So I have explained all the basic concepts related to sludge treatment in my previous lessons. So if you refer that you will uh, get a clear idea about sludge treatment and all the terms related to that. So the first question in this is that the gas from sludge digestion tank is mainly composed of uh, option A is nitrogen, option B is carbon dioxide, option C is hydrogen sulfide and option D is methane. So here the in sludge digestion tank we know that we are treating the sludge right and then we are disposing it off. So it is generally a, a anaerobic uh, treatment or anaerobic decomposition takes place and from that we know that uh, mainly it is composed of methane. So carbon dioxide it, it is there but mainly in more uh, proportion or more percentage methane is evolved or methane uh, is there right so gas from sludge digestion tank is mainly composed of option d is the correct option so it is the methane gas so next question is the gas coming out from a sludge digestion tank is option a is methane only option b is carbon dioxide option c is 70 percent methane and 30 percent carbon dioxide and option d is 30 percent methane and 70 percent carbon dioxide so here only we have seen that in more quantity the methane is produced right but uh, the gas which comes out from sludge digestion is not only methane but also carbon dioxide so it is 70 percent of methane and 30 percent of carbon dioxide right so the gas coming out from a sludge digestion tank is 70% methane and 30% is carbon dioxide. So please do remember these percentages, right? So option C is the correct option for this question. So next question is the first stage of natural processes of sludge digestion is option A is hydrolysis, option B is acid fermentation, Option C is alkaline fermentation and option D is methane fermentation. For uh, this, uh, please do refer my lesson on sludge treatment, right? In which we I have explained all the factors or all the stages in the sludge digestion process. So the stages uh, that we have seen are acid fermentation, acid regression and alkaline fermentation. So alkaline fermentation is nothing but known as methane fermentation and in acid fermentation only hydrolysis takes place, right? So I have explained that in my previous lessons, all the stages, right? So the first stage of natural process that I was talking about is the acid fermentation, right? stage acid fermentation stage is the first stage of natural process of sludge digestion so option b is the correct option for this question right 
so next question is sludge digestion is done by the following bacteria so as we know that sludge digestion is carried out by anaerobic bacteria so it is the uh, bacteria is used is anaerobic right so next is the main useful gaseous component in the digestion process is of course option a is ethane option b is methane option c is butane and option d is propane so in uh, a digestion process methane is evolved and it is very useful because it has a good calorific value or good fuel value right so option b is the correct option for this question so next question is for the same solid content if the quantity of sludge with moisture content of 98% is x then the quantity of sludge with moisture content of 96% will be so please do understand the question what they are asking is for same solid content so solid content is uh, constant right and, and the quantity is x that is v1 is x and its moisture content is 98% so our p1 is 91% and the quantity of sludge with moisture content of 96% will be so here we have, will have to use the formula for volume reduction so here options are given as x by 4 option b is x by 2 option c is x and option d is 2x so we'll use this formula for volume deduction so it is v2 is equal to v1 100 minus p1 by 100 minus p2 so in question they have said that v1 is equal to x right so v2 is equal to x 100 minus 98 upon 100 minus 96 if we calculate this we get our v2 is equal to x by 2 right so our correct option here is x by 2 that is option b is correct option for this question right so next question is the following three stages are known to occur in a biological action involved in the process of sludge digestion so first one is acid fermentation second is alkaline fermentation and third is acid regression so we have to put the correct sequence of this stages so this question was asked in ies 1998 so friends the correct sequence i have mentioned before that is first stage is acid fermentation then is acid regression and the last one is alkaline uh, al or alkali fermentation so here 1 3 and 2 is the correct option for this question that is first is acid fermentation then it is acid regression and then uh, the last stage is alkaline fermentation that is 1 3 and 2 so option d is correct option for this question so the next question is the main gases liberated from a an anaerobic sludge digestion tank would be so as we previously seen it is co2 and ca H4, right so here are other options are also given but mainly in sludge digestion tank uh, the main gases evolved or liberated are co2 and ch4 so option b is the correct option for this question so next process is or the next question is the correct sequence of the sludge digestion step is first is acid formation hydrolysis methane formation next is methane formation acid formation and hydrolysis next is hydrolysis methane formation acid formation and last is uh, hydrolysis acid formation and methane formation so friends plus, uh, plus uh, i have explained in my previous lessons what is hydrolysis what is acid formation stage and what is methane formation stage so here correct option here uh, is hydrolysis acid formation and methane formation so correct option for this question is option d uh, so next question is which one of the following is considered as the thermophilic range of sludge digestion option a is uh, 60 degree celsius to 70 degree celsius option b is 50 degree celsius to 57 degree celsius option c is 29 degree celsius to 40 degree celsius and option d is 20 degree celsius to 30 degree celsius friends uh, i have mentioned this point in my previous lesson in that we have discussed about digestion period so generally digestion period depends on type of microorganisms employed so there are two types of microorganisms involved in digestion or sludge digestion one in mesophilic organism uh, which uh, digestion period is from 30 days to 60 days and its temperature is 20 degree celsius to 40 degree celsius and next organism is thermophilic 
thermophilic organism and its temperature is uh, from 50 to uh, like 45 to 60 or we can say 50 degree celsius to 57 degree celsius right so its digestion period is 15 to 25 days so here the thermophilic uh, range is 50 degree celsius to 57 degree celsius because uh, uh, on this egg, uh, organisms the digestion period depends so for th thermophilic organism the digestion period is from 15 to 25 days please do remember this point also because on this point also uh, mcq can be asked and the thermophilic organisms temperature is from 50 degree celsius to 57 degree celsius or sometimes it is 45 degrees celsius celsius to 60 degree celsius right so here option b is the correct option for this question so these were some mcqs in my next lesson we will also see one solved example on sludge treatment and uh, some mcqs for two marks or one marks from previous gate question papers right so also we'll start with the septic tank soon so please do rate review and recommend my courses and lessons if you have any doubt please let me know in the comment section do share this video and subscribe us on youtube channel thank you